If you are a parent to look after children, knowing how to perform first aid is critical. How you react really does matter. If you found yourself in an emergency situation, would you know what to do? And if not, why not? Watching this one minute video could help you save a life. Head injury is one of the most common presentations to an emergency department. And the vast majority of kids are diagnosed with minor head injury. There is often a bump or a bruise on the exterior of the head and other symptoms may include nausea or feeling sick, mild headache, tender bruising, mild swelling of the scalp or mild dizziness. If your child experiences these mild symptoms after a knock, a bump or a blow to the head, you do not require any specific treatment. Observe them closely for 48 hours and monitor whether their symptoms improve or worsen. The serious symptoms to know about are unconsciousness, either very briefly or for a longer period of time, difficulty staying awake or being sleepy several hours after the injury, having a seizure or a fit, difficulty speaking such as slurred speech, vision problems or double vision, difficulty understanding what people say, reading or writing problems, balance problems or difficulty walking, loss of power in part of the body such as weakness of an arm or a leg, pins and needles in the hands or the feet, memory loss such as not being able to remember what happened before or after the injury, clear fluids leaking from the nose or ears since the injury, a black eye with no other damage around the eye, bleeding from one or both ears, new deafness, a loss of hearing in one or both ears, bruising behind one or both ears, or a lasting, strong, persistent headache since the injury, vomiting since the injury, irritability or unusual behavior, visible damage to the head such as open, bleeding, wound. If any of these symptoms are present, particularly the loss of consciousness, even for a short period of time, immediately go to the emergency department of your local hospital or call 999 or 112 and ask for an ambulance.